Hey guys, how's it going? This is Pocket, and this video I'm going to show you how to delete your forgotten password on your iPad, iPod, or iPhone. So let's get started. So if you have forgotten your password, don't blame yourself because this is normal. Everyone forgets their password uh, sometimes, and this is a tragic situation because all your data will be deleted in order to delete your password. Unfortunately, there is no way to um, to delete your password without uh, deleting your uh, device. If you don't know how to do this, I'm gonna show you right now how to use again your uh, iPod, iPad or iPhone after forgetting your password. So in order to do this, you need a computer of course. So I'm gonna go to my computer and I'm gonna show you what to do. What you need to do now is to plug in your Apple device to your computer and launch iTunes and let iTunes to recognize your uh, Apple device. When your Apple device is recognized, you should uh, this icon should change color to a gray, from gray to black. And then you can click it to see all of your information of your Apple device, as you can see here. So what you need to do right now is to hit restore iPad, and that's all. But if you have already backed up your data one day be before forgetting your password, then you're lucky because you can't restore this backup to your Apple device after it uh, it's restored. Uh, also, this worked on disabled Apple device as well to uh, restore them and then uh, start from the beginning. Uh, so what you need to do right now is to hit restore iPad and then um, it will ask you to back up your data. But probably these other things are going to work when you forgot your uh, password. And then uh, you should press restore and update and that's all then your Apple device will be restored and uh, update to the latest version of iOS as well but there's a much better way to do this which enforces your Apple device to restore every data on it and of course restore it to its factory, factory settings so what you need to do is to enter your Apple device to DFU mode by holding down both of these buttons home and power button for 10 seconds then releasing the power button and continue, continue holding down the home button for another 7 seconds. So right now please hold down the power button and home button for 10 seconds with me. So 1, 2, 3, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Release the power button. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and then you should have this message right here. But actually, it's on the TFU mode where you can um, restore your iPad or check for update or eject the um, the Apple device. So I'm gonna hit OK, and then there is an option where you can uh, click or eject your Apple device. So I'm going to hit restore Apple device. So this is the same window as we as we saw previously where to restore it but also update to the latest version. If you want to restore it on the correct version, unfortunately there's no way to do this because Apple wants every uh, every Apple device out there to be updated to the latest version. I don't know, it's Apple who likes it. I don't know. So then you hit restore and update. And then this take a couple of minutes to so sit back, relax, and then your Apple device will be ready very soon. Then um, you need to know your Apple ID and password in order to uh, continue to activate your Apple device and then start using your Apple device again. So also if it asks you if you want to restore and backup, please select yes and then navigate to iTunes and then restore the backup that you have already backed up on your computer if you have but if you don't have then yeah so that was the video for the guys I hope you enjoyed it and also I forgot to tell you if you want to uh, get out of DFU mode you need to hold down again the both of these buttons power hold button until you see the app logo so I'm gonna do it right now so after 10 seconds of hold down these both buttons uh, my iPad has displayed its uh, app logo and it's booting up. So if you enter by mistake to DFU mode, you are not lost. You can um, again reboot your iPad by holding down 
but power button and hope button. So that was everything for the guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook fan page, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for my latest videos, my latest content. Thanks for watching guys, I'm gonna see you in my next video.